In this video, I will be doing a review of the Cross Wanderlust pen. This review will be helpful for those people who have an interest in quality, unique pens for their planner or for everyday use. This pen comes in different colors. I have two of the colors, but in this video, I will be focusing on the Wanderlust pen that is in the color called Malta. And this pen has a rollerball pen tip. I didn't know what the word wanderlust meant, so I looked it up, and wanderlust means to have a strong desire to travel. I purchased this pen with my own money. I purchased the wanderlust pen from the Franklin Planner website, and I will put the link below that will take you directly to the pen if you're interested. And also, you can save money with discount promo code Tanya Plans. When I opened the box, I was impressed with the presentation. This is a sturdy box and it just looks really, really premium. And as you can see here, it says cross and gold established in 1846 in the USA. And there's also here, I don't know if you can see, like there's an embossed cross logo that goes around and to the side of the box. So when I open the box, there is a plastic cover here, and on the side of the box here, it says cross, and the pen rests on a black satiny pillow, and there's like a ribbon holding it in place. But here is the pen itself, and let me show you real quickly. I know you want to see the pen, but I just want to show you a little more of the box. So there's this tab here, and you can lift this up, and there's paperwork in here. This pen has a lifetime mechanical guarantee. So here is the Wanderlust pen in the color Malta. The website says that this pen was inspired by nature. And this is white lacquer is what you're seeing. And if you can notice here, there's gold veining on the pen. I'm trying to show you up close to make sure you can see the detail. So this pen has colors of white pearls on the background and then there are blue colors as well as like, I think this is more of a brownish color there and then there's the gold veining. And you can see that cross is embossed here on the pen clip and this is how the pen clip is shaped on the side. When I take the top off of this pen is cushiony right here so there's some tension and I don't think this top will fall off on its own so when I open the pen you can see here there's like some ribbing texture on this part of the pen and again this is the rollerball pen tip I like rollerball pens because they tend to have broader more heavier ink strokes and in my opinion it's the closest that you can get to a fountain pen without actually using a fountain pen so this is how the pen looks with the top it's very very attractive so if you have a planner with gold rings, this might be a nice thing to match your planner. Okay, so now I want to do a pen test, and I'm going to test this pen out on my planner pages. For 2021, I'm using the Carrera planner pages, and they have this real nice grayish white background. So I'm going to put here a test. I'll just write a test. Now as far as how the, the pen feels, it has a good weight to it. It doesn't feel hollow and real light. So compared to my Botanica pen, this is my Botanica pen. This is my favorite ink pen. If you follow me on Instagram, if you follow me on Facebook, you will see this pen in almost all of my pictures. This is the Botanica pen and I believe it's called Daylily. But I love this pen and it is a rollerball as well. But you can see the difference between the Wanderlust and the Botanica. If you wanted to compare Wanderlust, this is Wanderlust, this is Botanica. The Wanderlust has the cross logo on the clip and the Botanica does not. And as you can see, the Botanica has, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it has cross embossed here and it is plated in 18 karat gold. Um, let me open it so you can see the difference between these two. As far as this part down here, they look the same. They're, they both have the, the ridging there and the tops are similar. Well, with the Botanica, there's like a rounded tip 
and with the wanderlust it's kind of flat right there. That's the difference between the two pens if you were wondering. But this is my favorite pen and the reason why I brought it up because this pen feels heavier than this pen. So I talked to one of my planner friends and she was saying she had the same pen but in a different color and she said that it's a little heavy. So just want you to know this pen, the Wanderlust, is lighter, okay? So let's write something. Um, I hate to actually write on these planner pages because I will be using them, but it's okay. I'll do it for you guys. It writes very smooth. I have no problems with the ink coming out. It flows very nicely. And I love rollerball pens, especially for journaling because when I'm journaling, I'm just writing what comes to mind and I don't want to think about my pen. I just want it to flow and I love like I said the dark bold lines of a rollerball pen but I mean even if I'm not I'm not pressing hard and the ink flows very very nicely now one thing to keep in mind is if you get a rollerball pen because the ink is a little darker than it would be on most ballpoint pens you may have some shadowing on the other side. So here's the other side of the Carrera Planner. Just making sure there's nothing personal on this page. And you can see there's there's no bleeding. And bleeding is when you see a blotch on the other side. But there is light shadowing. Shadowing on my planner pages does not bother me because my eyes automatically go to the writing. But shadowing bothers some people. And in that case, some people try to look for thicker planner paper. For me, I've had thicker planner paper before and it was almost too thick like I could barely like turn the pages easily and plus I think thicker planner paper may possibly mean more waste for the planet I'm not sure don't quote me on that so I'm okay with shadowing on the other side of my planner pages but I'm not okay with blotching on the other side of my planner pages so ghosting and shadowing is okay, but bleed through is not okay for me. And I see some light shadowing. When I use this day, I won't even notice that because I'm going to just write right over that and my eyes are going to focus on the writing. So I just wanted to say that because some of you watching my video may have this planner or may be thinking about getting this planner. And I think the paper quality of the Carrera is good. Now I don't want to get off the subject of this pen. So let me show you how this pen would look in the pen loop. This is this binder is my leather Tyler binder. That's how it looks. So it has a of course I wouldn't store it with the pen top up like that. I would put the pen top on, but there's a rich look to it. It looks it looks rich. And see I like pens with detailing that are that is different. You know this kind of turns heads and I think it would make a great gift. I'm getting into like collecting pens I'm starting to really become a hashtag pen addict but I like the pens that are different and that you can't find everywhere else so that's definitely the deal with this pen so this pen although it's rollerball it can be converted to another type of pen you can I'm gonna unscrew this put this out the way so you can unscrew this and buy what's called a converter from the cross website and you can change this from a rollerball to a ballpoint pen pen or into a fountain pen I believe so this is how the ink refill looks it's a cross ink refill and it's a 0.7 millimeter and this item number is 8523 and this is what came with the pen and as you can see it says gel rolling ball refill I believe on the Franklin planner website they have these pen refills but last time I checked they only had the color black which is the color I like but if you want additional pen refills you can go to the cross website and I think the last time I looked they had refills for this pen in blue and in purple so as far as writing quality I think it's it's excellent as far as am I happy I purchased this absolutely I'm, I'm happy that I have this added to my collection now of course this isn't the type of pen I'm gonna like leave around or put in my kitchen junk drawer it's a collectible so I will probably keep it in this box or put or put it somewhere special until I want to use it but I definitely get a lot of use out of my pens because I enjoy journaling and I enjoy using my planner so if you have any questions about this pen please let me know in the comments now I wouldn't call this an expensive pen but it's not cheap either and I've seen pens way more expensive than this one but I think for the uniqueness of the pen I'm happy that 
I added it to my collection. So please let me know in the comments what pen you use. I don't care if it's a high-end pen or a lower-end pen. A good writing pen is a good writing pen. So I would love to hear what type of pen you use and why you like it. Please don't forget to like this video. I hope you found this video helpful. Take care. Mm -hmm.